Hello everyone, this is Akib Javed. Welcome to you all on Padli. And here I am going to tell you an amazing automation by which you can automatically reply to your reviews that you are getting on Google My Business page. Okay, as you guys already know that many business owners list their business online by creating a page here on Google My Business. And here their customers can give their reviews and star ratings to their business. So guys, with the help of this automation that I'm about to tell you, you can automatically reply to all those reviews that you're getting from your customers based on the star ratings you are getting from them. Okay, so the flow of our automation will look something like this. So guys, whenever you get a review submitted on your Google My Business page, what will happen? You can post the reply to that review automatically. Yes, guys, automatically, you know, do not have to manually type that uh, reply. As you got the review submitted here, a reply get automatically posted on the review according to the star rating they have given. And guys, uh, to make this automation happen, I am using a software here called as Pabli Connect. So what Pabli Connect will do is whenever you got a review here, it Pabli Connect will send the reply automatically to that review on Google My Business. And guys, the best part of creating this automation is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge. So now let me show you on my computer screen how you can also create this automation. So guys, this is my computer screen and here you can see I am in my Google My Business Profile Manager's dashboard, okay? And here I can see the reviews I am getting on my business on Google My Business page, okay? So here you can see I have received a review a few minutes ago, this one, great collection of dresses. Okay, and this is in this is an automated reply that I have sent to this person who has given four stars to our business. And this is the automated reply to, to this review. We are grateful that you took the time out to leave us a review. Your feedback help us to improve service for everyone, okay? So this is how it is going to look like in real time. This is how we, you can send automated replies to any kind of reviews you are getting on your business. Okay. So guys, uh, Google My Business uses polling technique to send the data. So it might take five to 10 minutes to post to get this review reply posted automatically. So not to worry about that. And now let me show you the process of automation by which you can all also automatically reply to your reviews. So guys, to the first step to set up this automation is to sign in into your Pabli Connect account. Okay. So guys, by typing P-A-B-B-L-Y, that is pabli.com slash connect in your internet browser, you can reach this page. And from here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect trial account in just two minutes by clicking here on sign up free button. And after that, you can sign in and when you sign in, you will reach this page here. And from this all apps section of Pabli, you have to click on this access now button of Pabli Connect panel. And that will bring you to the dashboard of Pabli Connect like this. Okay. So guys, here you have to start working and you have to create an automation workflow here. And to create a workflow, you just have to click here on create workflow button like this. Okay. And here you can give any name to a workflow also, any suitable name. So let me fill the name here. So guys, I have filled the name here as automatically reply to Google My Business Reviews. Okay, now click on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created like this. And here you will find these two things first, the trigger and the action. So our automation work on this trigger and action. So the trigger says when this happens, that means when anything happens, action says Pabli Connect do this. Okay, so when and uh, according to any trigger, Pabli Connect will perform certain action. So this is how it is going to work. As in our use case, the trigger would be a review received on Google My Business page and the action to that trigger or the response to that trigger would be to send an automatic reply to that review. Okay. So first of all, you have to set up the trigger. So click on this trigger window and from this choose app field, you have to choose your trigger application, which is Google My Business. Okay. So you have to type here Google My Business and you will find it here. This one, select it. Okay. 
and after selecting the application you have to select the trigger event so the trigger event would be a new review okay so you can read here it triggers when a new review is submitted for a specific location okay so select this now click on this connect button and from this window select add new connection and then click on connect with google my business page okay so from this window, it will ask for the uh, your uh, Gmail account by which your business page is connected. So select that account from here and give the required access that is completely safe. Just click on continue. Okay, now you can see the authorization is successful here and it started showing connected. Okay, so now we are connected with our business page and here you can see it is showing the review location as Parampara. So this is our business page here. You can see this is my business page actually Parampara. Okay, so it is uh, showing up here in this review location field in this drop down. You can select the business page. Okay, so if you have more than one business page, it will show you all your business pages here in this drop down. Currently, I have only one. So it is showing up uh, one only and it is selected like this. Now, when you click here on save and send test request, it will bring the details of the last review you have received on your business page. OK, so the last review I have received here is this one. You can see great collection of dresses, four stars by Akib Khan. OK, so let me click here on save and send test request and you will see the data of this last review will be captured here like this. You can see the data is captured and it is displaying the reviewer's name Akib Khan the star ratings for and the comment or the review uh, this person has given which is this and the time of this review is also showing up here you can see the date and time okay right so now we want to reply automatically to this review according to the ratings we have received so we have received a four star rating here but uh, you can receive one star, two star, three star, four star and five star, five kind of ratings you can receive and we want to reply to those reviews automatically according to the ratings we have received. For that we are going to use a feature by Pavli. Let me show you. First of all you have to click here on this actions tab and the feature we are using here is called router. So you have to type router here and you will find this router. Select it. So guys router is a feature by Pavli which allows you to create different pathways or routes for uh, different type of predefined triggers. Okay. So as in our use case, the trigger is getting a review along with star rating. So you can uh, you already know that we can have five types of star ratings. So we are going to set up five different pathways for each star rating. Okay. So here you can see it's showing up two routes automatically here and here I'm going to rename this route first and let us create the first route for five star rating. Okay, so I'm typing this routes name here as for five star. So I'm uh, renaming this step for our convenience. Okay, so if you do not want to rename you cannot uh, you you should leave this step also. Okay. So I have written here for, for five star. Okay. And I'm updating this here. And now it is uh, showing up this button set filter and action steps. So by clicking on this button, you can set up this route for five star rating. Okay. And here you can see it is asking, it is showing up a filter step here and it is asking for selecting the label. So here we are going to select the label from the data we have captured here in the first step. Okay. So here you can see we have all these labels here in which we have the details of the reviewer. And here you can see we have this star rating label which is showing up four. So we are going to use this label in our filter in our first round. Okay. So I'm clicking here on set filter and action steps. And in the select label when you click here you will find this Google my business uh, option available here and when you click on it you will find all the details that we have captured from the first tab okay and here you can see it is showing up this star rating four. okay so select this label like this and make the filter type equals to and here we are going to put the value as 
five because we are going we are setting up this filter for five star rating currently we receive a review with four star ratings but let it be uh, we are setting up this out for five star so i'm putting here f i v e that is five so what does it mean we are actually trying uh, trying to tell to pebbly connect that when this star rating equals to five then do this action step okay what action step i will tell you first of all click here on save and send test request and it is showing the condition is false right now because right now we have received four star ratings it is not five star but in real time when we when we'll get the five star rating this condition will be true and the workflow and the automation will continue okay so what we want when we receive five star ratings we want to send an automated reply for that review for that you have to click here on this action uh, plus icon and another action step will open up and from here we are going to uh, reply automatically to this review and where we want to reply on the google my business page so our action application would be google my business again so this is google my business select this okay and now in this action event uh, you have to select this create reply option okay so because we are replying to a review and then click on connect you can uh, actually read uh, in this create reply option it let you create a reply to the user review okay so select the correct op uh, option here then click on connect and from this window now you can use uh, this option existing connection because we have we are already connected with google my business in the trigger okay or you can use the new connection also if you want then click on connect with google my business okay and from this window you can select the your gmail account by which you have created the business page and then click on continue here like this and you can see that we are going to be connected like this okay now it is asking here you can uh, read the help text map the reviewer name key returned on the google my business accounts trigger you need to map the name field here from the trigger which has values like accounts locations reviews okay so it is asking to map the details of the name and account of the person who has given the review and we get the details let me show you i'm just saving this here okay we have received the details of the review and the person who have given the review here in the first tab okay so it is asking to uh, us it is asking us to map this label actually this name in which it has the details of the account information also so that google can verify that who is the account holder etc so go to your route again and here okay so let me apply the action step again because it is not saved and what was our step google my business action event create reply and then click on this connect button now choose existing connection click on save and here in the name when you click you will find this google my business reviews option click on it and here you will find these details so map this name accounts uh, all these things just map this label okay and here it is asking your reply so it is asking wh what is the reply that you want to post so let me type the reply here so i have typed the reply here as this thanks for leaving our business a five star rating it is truly appreciated and here you can see i have written dear and after dear i'm going to map the name of the reviewer that we got from this first tab you can see from this google my business option here is the name of the reviewer i'm mapping it so when you map the name like this what will happen whenever you got uh, any new review the name will be changed in this message automatically in the reply as well okay right now click here on save and send test request and this uh, re uh, this reply will be posted for this review that you got okay so i'm just clicking on save here you can test if the replies is replies are posting or not by clicking here on save and send test request okay 
and our first route is completed i am clicking on done here now we are going to use this process for four times more okay for that what you can do you can clone this route okay how you can do this let me show you first let me delete this second route okay and by clicking here on this icon you will find this clone option click on it and click on clone okay so our step is cloned successfully for this for let's rename this for uh, for four stars now okay okay i am updating the rename process and here when you click on set filters and action step you will find these two things already here because we have cloned this step and now the things you need to change here is this this only now i i am setting up this route for four star so here in place of the five in the value field i am putting it four like this and then you can check this save and send test request if the condition is true and now you can see the condition is true because in the data we have received we have received four star rating and the google my business step you need to change only this if you want to put a different kind of reply here you can change the message let me change the message here and here i have typed this message now we are grateful that you took the time out to leave us a review your feedbacks help us to improve service for everyone okay so now i'm clicking on save here and our second route for four star is also completed and now click on done here and now let me clone this step one more time sorry not rename clone so i'm cloning it one more time for three stars and clone it one more time for two star rating okay and clone it one more time for one star rating as well okay so uh, here let me rename these steps now so here you can see i have renamed all the routes here like this for five star four star three two one and the things we need to change here for three two and one star is this let me show you uh, here in the filter you have to put here for the three star three okay in capitals okay because we have we receive the details of the ratings in capital letters only you can see four so you have to put these things in capital letters okay now click on save and you can change the message also in this action step here can change the message for now i'm leaving this as it, as it is if you want to put any other type of reply you can change this message here and click on save okay now let's uh, change our for two star route also here we are going to put in this filter step in this value two okay then save it if you want to change the message for this two star rating you can change the message from here i do not want it now so i'm just clicking on done and for one star also i'm putting it in the filter i'm putting in the value one okay okay and if you want to change the message that you want to send for this review you can change the reply message here from this step from here your reply okay right now i am just clicking on save and guys our five routes are completed and our workflow is also completed now guys you can also use the same workflow for your business needs because i am going to paste this the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone the whole workflow in your own free public connect trial account and start using this automation instantly so guys this is it for today's video if you got any query regarding our business automation you can ask and discuss your queries from this forum and guys if you want to check the pricing of this application you can use this link and if our automations are helping you do not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel